I can't see that far with you. Hold it steady, dude. Keep it on. No moving around. What? Oh, there's something in there. Oh, there's something You can see really well. Can you? Really good. It's fantastic. Look, look. I'm standing out a little bit. You're standing out really well. It looks fantastic. This is gonna be so epic and scary. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm bricking down, it. Actually. Downstairs, I'm a bit worried about going down, but <laughs> I'm not gonna stay up on my own, so I've gotta go down. Really? It's Who's gonna do a lone vigil? Who's gonna do a lone vigil? What? Just be in sort a of room. staying in a room on your own and, yeah. and saying, is anyone there? I think Jarrett's the one to do it. Yeah, he's a uh, skeptic, isn't he? Oh, to get him to go down in the basement on his own and do a lone vigil. Yeah. And see if anything comes to him. But take the camera oh with him. Oh, God. You have to, because that's what they do most of the time, take the camera with him, and then they film yeah, themselves. Yeah, that's so frightening, dude. In the base, you wait and see the base. I reckon he'll be scared. Do you reckon? You hear that, Jared? You'll be scared in the basement. It's frightening down there. Oh. Okay, we are now approaching the house of he said Borders Horrors. and Colfords. That's the house. And that's the house we're going to build. And these are, these are the English maths. That's the DC part. Oh, okay. Is it loud? Can you smell something? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! That's the one. I had you guys go on there for a second. You did, yeah. And the torches. Don't look at me because I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk to the camera, don't forget to like me. No. Yeah. Can you not just like imagine this being like a Blair Witch self home made? It, this is exactly what I'm thinking about right now, I'll be honest with you. How's it looking? Chris? It looked, with the night vision, dude, it is awesome. It's epic. It's so cool. Like, if you do get quite close to someone, it shows up really well. Yeah, so, let's do this. Let's Hold on. Oh. To the place where we saw that. Was he old lady? These faces are not. Are these done by the kids, man? Um, yeah, I think so. He's very good, is that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, probably. He ain't so great. He ain't so great. I don't get excited about the kids now. This is called the billiard room. Oh yes! Is it because there's a balcony? Isn't it? I mean, wait, please. Really? Oh, look at this place. Oh my goodness! I saw it! I saw it! I saw it! Is that the tune you know? I've got, I've got. <laughs> Where's that from? Halloween. Yeah. Oh, that's that's good. Good. And do you know what the time is? It is actually Halloween. Yeah, of course it is, yeah. It's oh, just gone past. Oh, it, oh no, it's got, we've got a like, lit note. Uh, I've got literally. Yeah. Oh, sorry. 12 minutes for Halloween. Oh man. You're getting scared already. 12 minutes, that could be the name no, of our film. Are you going to yeah. recognise this place in a second? Do you know Yeah. Is this where I was? 
Oh my god, it is as well. Oh, is this where it's taken? This is a glass There's no possibility. So would the light be more than they came in? So the camera was up there. No, there's a TV screen here, there's this reflecting glass here, this is all... Yeah, but dude, think, but think it was in me. It's transparent. That could have been a reflection of something on the TV. you can see the CCTV camera up there. But the image is a of what it is. Yeah, the image would, could have been reflected from that TV screen over there. Right. No, 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 not, not a full thing. No. That's. I just. You I can know. see the floor. No way, because you, you can see through. The, yeah, but you you're looking. Through. Stand on, stand on that thing. What? No, you can never see a full. See, look, person. look how I'm looking at that screen up over there. But it's not. But it doesn't fit the ideas. No, no, and they no, wouldn't no, have the image of the no, woman no, on no, it. No, no, I, I, I don't. Like I'm seeing that screen over there, and you'll get lots of courtesy reflections. You can, yeah, you can but see it's that. A full figure. It's a full figure. That's a full, full figure. Full figure. Full figure. Full figure. Full figure. Full How can full figure come off the screen? Oh, which one's it? I'm not convinced. I'm not. I'm not sold on that. You have to then. Oh, it's this one. No, it's a good piano. That's a good effect on the torch. There's a lot of stuff to cut. <laughs> I think we're staying. This is where we really Has anything ever been we noted on tonight. these stairs? You know, to try it out. I want to get my stuff. <laughs> Everyone lying up. Underneath the car is a maze of cellars, which were once called to the cavernous wine storage area that held many thousands of bottles of cotton molasses and conduggins to savour. It was to these dark cellars that a teacher brought a friend to show him around when he's the holiday and the place was Taking only a torch, they descended the steps into the cellars. They explored the rivers of wine. Hearing footsteps, they start talking. Not wanting to explain why they were in the cellars, they turned off their torch. They waited as the footsteps approached them, the sound of which appeared to emanate from the tunnel that directly crossed the one in which they were hiding. The footsteps came on, louder and increasingly more emphatic in their solid, steady tread. But then the footsteps halted and the sound grew fainter and fainter until the air fell silent. After some considerable time, the teacher and his friends were in the cupboard to turn their torch back on. Shining down the tunnel, the light caught something small and shiny on the floor. It was a new and uncirculated 1907 Edward VII penny, a coin from the ring at the very money who had visited Culver Hall in December. Who am I smashing into this place? Oh my goodness. Wow, this place looks great. <laughs> Christmas Island. 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 Christ
This one? Yeah. Here things going to be Whoa, you got me there. <laughs> you did it. Oh, hey, Spice Slayer. That's all awesome. good. Yeah. Well played. Looks like me. Oh, no. <laughs> did you put that there? there? No. Anything's gonna happen. I want it to happen to me first. <laughs> I don't want to go at the back either. Back. We're in there, though. We're in there. <laughs> Poor Simon. Right, these are the doors that look like cell, that look like jail. I think she turned lights off, night vision. <laughs> we are on night vision. What's IS? These are the wine cellars. Okay, let's go. Oh, God. Oh, I don't want to go in. Is there a shaft down here? It's just a wine, isn't it? Oh, it smells in there. Musty. Yeah. I think it's a dead end down there. Right, okay. So in 1933, the sixth L, Gerald Oakley Cadigan, um, owner of Colford Hall and the estate, died. The family decided that altogether, uh, although they would retain their properties in Chelsea in Scotland, they would sell off Colford Estate, which had been in the family since 1889. There was much packing to be done, and the house was extremely busy in the spring of 1934. Maids of all ranks joined the hectic throng of valets, butlers and footmen to help pack the horse-drawn carts waiting at the north front entrance ready for the journey to London. One of the maids was dragging a heavy suitcase along the first floor corridor, now in the music department, towards a small lift and chatting eagerly to her friends. On reaching the lift door, she opened them and with a final heave, threw the case into the lift shaft, but she had not checked to see if the lift table was at the first floor level. In fact, it was still down on the ground floor. Her stunned fellow workers found her at the bottom of the lift shaft, still clutching the suitcase. Since then, a number of teachers, pupils and staff have reported the presence in this corridor, and some even claim to have seen the white lady. This young girl's memory, and perhaps her spirit, also lingers on in the upstairs corridor of the music department in the north front wing. So if this is where she plummeted, yeah. we need to go back up to the top. Well. Okay, this is where she plummeted right here. 